Like every beautiful story, the tale of the Queen of Fabrics too speaks of culture and heritage that has been imbibed and enriched through centuries. With its bold and elegant nature has made its pathway into the hearts of people around the world. Presenting to you a testimony through the eyes of one of the oldest and most promising manufacturers of this pure silk fabric. Mysore Silk by KSIC KSIC today consists of a silk weaving factory spread across many acres in the heart of Mysore city and a silk filature unit at T. Narsipura with a total strength of 731 employees it commands the entire gamut of silk production right from reeling of cocoons to the weaving of pure silk fabric of various shades and designs the unit that was started with barely 10 looms has gradually increased manufacturing strength through the setting up of 44 looms the people behind the process reveal that the looms and preparatory machines were imported from Switzerland and Japan they were the first of their kind in India the Mysore factory is tasked with the production of pure silk fabrics of top quality under the brand name of Mysore silk the factory is the face of the product that has found its home in many households across the country amongst all the kinds of silk mulberry silk which comes from the silkworm Bombyx mori that feeds on the mulberry plant is the most popular and makes up for about 90% of all silk production in today's date however India stands tall as the world's second largest producer of silk the largest consumer of silk and silk products and ironically the largest importer of raw mulberry silk this was possible through the foresightedness and keen interest evinced by the then ruler of erstwhile Mysore Tipu Sultan whose passion was passed on by his father Haider Ali however the obsession with silk was soon tapped for its commercial viability by the Wadayars in the 1900s the Mysore silk weaving factory popularly known as the Mysore silk factory owes its existence to the Raja Rishi Nalwadi Krishna Raja Wadayar being run until 1980 as a departmental undertaking it was in this year that the government of Karnataka set up an enterprise the Karnataka Silk Industries Corporation Limited KSIC cocoon farmers are the first and most important part of the network of workers this process begins with silk moths that lay eggs on specially prepared paper these eggs hatch and the caterpillars of these silkworms are fed on fresh mulberry leaves ಒಂದು ಎಕರೆಗೆ ನಾವು ತೋಟನೆಲ್ಲ ಕಟಾವ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಕಟಾವ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಉಳುಮೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಕರೆಗೆ ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಎಂಟರಿಂದ ಹತ್ತು ಟನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಪ್ರತಿ ಬೆಳೆಗೂ ಕೆಮಿ ರಾಸಾಯನಿಕ ಗೊಬ್ಬರವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಾವು ಸೊಪ್ಪುಗೆ ಒಂದು ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ದಿನ ತುಂಬಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅದು ಉಳು ತರೋಕ್ಕೆ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ಕೊಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಉಳುಕ್ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಕೊಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಯೋಗ್ಯವಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಅದು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿಯಾಗಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅತಿ ಎಳಸು ಆಗೋದ್ರೂ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅತಿ ಬಲಕೆ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೂ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಒಂದು ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ದಿನ ತುಂಬಿದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಉಳು ತಿನ್ನೋಕ್ಕೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟವಾದ ಸೊಪ್ಪು after about 35 days and four moltings these caterpillars are hundreds of times heavier than when initially hatched and are ready to begin spinning a cocoon the caterpillars are placed over the straw frame tray and each caterpillar begins spinning a cocoon from liquid silk that is forced through openings in its head called spinnerets this freshly produced liquid silk is coated in sericin a protective gum that solidifies on contact with air within two to three days the caterpillar spins about one mile of filament 
and is completely encased in a cocoon. While most of the cocoons are used up in the process of manufacturing the silk fabric, a few are however left to metamorphose into moths to breed the next generation of caterpillars. The story of the production of this sensuous fabric begins at Ramanagara and Sidlagata Taluks. Ramanagara houses one of the largest cocoon markets in Asia as well as in the world. Silkworm cocoons are brought here by the farmers and sold to reelers who process them to produce commercially viable silk. On an average, 40 metric tons are transacted in this market on a daily basis. That monetarily converted is about 10 million rupees of transaction with 500 transactions that takes place every day here with the participation of around 1,000 people through a government bidding procedure. Gudu signing irbe ko, matte sahi irbe ko, bigi irbe ko, matte aar disa yor disa. Iyvatn kal deli yento yor disu gud tarbe ko. Wild aar vasya gud tarbe ko. Prati ondrolu uchya kiri kila gudu, matte wildi kiri kila orge gudu. Prati ondri tilu nu 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 chana gidru matra auru. Cases nor matter ni thoon cook tar hai. Aur on salpa good on salpa dappai idhunu bigi kammi to andre hai. Aur takola la. Playing an integral role at this market, KSIC buys up to 1,000 kilograms of cocoons every day. The cocoons that have been purchased on a daily basis are then transported to the raw silk manufacturing unit in T Narsipura Silk Filetche Unit. T. Narsipura's raw silk manufacturing unit spans over 12 acres of land with 90% of the workforce here being women. The cocoons that have been brought from Ramanagara undergo an elaborate process here. Silk filature refers to raw silk manufacturing. The unit manufactures raw silk yarn and transfers to meet the raw material requirement of the silk weaving factory in Mysore. The first step involves passing the batches of cocoons through a hot air chamber to prevent the caterpillars from breaking open the cocoons and damaging the fiber. This hot air process increases the storage periodicity to over six months and the processed cocoons are moved to the storeroom. The cocoons are then sent off for the boiling stage where they are passed through a large machine to soften the cocoon and help in finding the reeling end. Batches of boiled cocoons are distributed to the workers who begin the process. It takes 8 to 10 cocoons to produce one strand of thread. Each cocoon is set to produce 800 to 900 meters of filament on an average, but only up to 400 to 600 meters of this is usable filament. The silk filament is then passed through buttons and pulley to maintain tenacity and elongation. These lengths of yarn are then weighed and tested for quality and strength. The unit manufactures raw silk yarn and transfers it to meet the raw material requirement of the silk weaving factory in Mysore. Mysore silk is a It is 100 years old. Andre a Parampare de Sirege. the Now I think I have around 68 to 70 saris, but still I am not um, satisfied. Still I want more. But Ivaga varieties of borders varieties of designs create Madi Hososa designs and in now kuda ee factory il bandu namage bekadanta color namage bekadanta designs helidru maadkodta idare so the saree which i am wearing 
ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಇಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟ ಕಲರು ಮತ್ತು ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೋ ಸಾರಿ ಇದು The first process that the yarn undergoes is soaking which would help the yarn become supple. The soaked silk yarn are tied to form a circle and are hung on GI pipes until they become completely dry. Before the silk yarn is woven into fabric, it goes through a series of processes where the dried silk yarn is put on a winding machine. for the yarn in a long continuous length to suit later processes and also to eliminate imperfections such as slubs seek places dirt and so on the yarn is doubled into individual threads doubling avoids unevenness and the strength of the doubled yarn is correspondingly better than the single thread Silk twisting machine is of up twister principle. Twisting is one of the most important steps in the processing of silk yarns and increases the strength of the yarn considerably and creates compression for packaging. The twisted yarn is run under steam compression to fuse the gaps between the strands that might have emerged during the twisting stage. The rewinding machine is practically like the winding machine. Its production capacity is more since normally double yarn is wound on this. If two ply yarn are rewound, production rate would be more than 2 times as compared to the winding machine. A single cone consists of silk generated through 80 to 90 cocoons. The machine threads 162 meters of silk onto one cone in 1 minute so evenly that when it goes to the weaving section there are no gaps found in the saris. Fourteen thousand eight hundred silk threads are thus wound around a warp rolling machine. The silk threads from each bobbin make a net like structure. and pass through the perforations a combination of three threads through the perforations combines to form a single thread these threads then pass through minutely spaced steel structures under a roller burn winding is necessary to prepare weft yarn Meanwhile, the gold warping consists of a smaller version of the warp machine that is used in the gold lace section. Zari, the gold threads from the bobbins are transferred into rolls for the warp. Small versions of the shuttles are used in the weaving. The KSIC silk saris have an unmatched drape. These scraps have delicate strands of zari interwoven in spectacular designs in the borders and the pallu. Weaving is the process where the warp, longitudinal and weft horizontal yarn are interlaced to produce the exquisite Mysore silk sari. At this weaving stage, gold zari lace is introduced onto the border. and the body of the fabric to give design weaver effects intricate pallu etc after weaving the fabric is inspected cleaned and then sent for degumming processing the degumming process is carried out to remove the gum present in the fabric and the fabric becomes smooth and soft Then the fabric is dyed in different vibrant colors before reaching the customers. As per the requirements of the sales, marketing and customer needs, some of the sarees are sent to the screen printing unit. The printed crepes are tributes to designing and come with a double advantage 
of possessing the crepe's softness and a vibrant range of designs. National Institute of Fashion Technology NIFT helps in designing and developing KSIC's entire range of saris and silk apparel. Quality The saris are thoroughly inspected for quality parameters. In the event of any manufacturing deviation, such saris are segregated and sold separately. KSIC is the only organization in the country commanding the entire gamut of silk production, right from reeling of cocoons to the weaving of pure silk fabric of various shades and designs, all under one roof. The Mysore Silk Sari is specific and has unique designs, patterns and different colors that fascinate buyers. To protect esteemed customers from falling prey to imitation of KSIC silks, the organization has barcoded a special embroidered identification number for each sari with a unique number and hologram. Based on the design, color and article, the process unit has ISO 9002 standards. KSIC has been awarded the Geographical Indication GI Mark. KSIC also received the Integrated Management System Certification IMS, becoming the first public sector enterprise in the state to have achieved it. And to take all of this to greater heights, KSIC turns 100. Each year, the company also collects vintage Mysore silk saris that were manufactured before the year 1972 at the company's silk weaving factory in Mysore. Then, the technical committee selects the three best well-maintained saris and the owners of those historical fabrics are honored at the vintage sari exhibition. <laughs> Yak and Anu Mysur silk seregal ne, Urtini, Yak of Grabakan and Gehetchen, Akarshan in Tandre, other Kekalu Karnagrid. Modulne de Nun Tandre, Vaivitia Maya, Banda Banda, Seregalana, Ibrutayar Martaida, Mysur Karkane. Yeradene de Nun Tandre, Ye Seregalo, Tumba, Nunupagi, Bruduagirote. Now would to Yash Kuth Kondru Kuda, Sukka Godila, other Kuda Bala Mukavata Tavisha. The company today values customer feedback to its most optimum level and catching on today's commercial trends, it also has an online shopping facility for its customers through its website www.ksicsilk.com Luminance of fire, the durability of earth, lightness of the air, the purity of water, the vastness of space, fusion of the five elements of nature. It isn't just a silk fabric, but a legacy to be cherished. KSIC Mysore Silk, mark of eternal beauty.